the second day of the uh, ninth edition of the Amgen Tour of California it took the 128 riders away from Sacramento just up the road in fact to Folsom for the 32 uh, 20 kilometer or 12 mile time trial a uh, famous prison here once uh, I guess made famous by Johnny Cash uh, in the Folsom itself and the race basing itself in the historic old town a hot favorite for the time trial Paul Bradley Wiggins Yes, Bradley Wiggins uh, was the man who was expected to win the time trial, but his challenge was going to come from uh, homegrown American Taylor Finney, fourth in the Olympic Games in the individual time trial in London, riding on home turf. A largely flat course uh, in beautiful warm conditions was suited to the fast men, and Rowan Dennis, third in the time trial in this event a year ago, was setting the pace. By the time he reached the finishing line, Rowan Dennis's time at 24 minutes and two seconds, an average speed at just over 50 kilometers an hour, had thrown down the gauntlet. He was out of the start house, well ahead of everybody else on the day. He had to be in the hot seat for an awful long time before the start of Bradley Wiggins, who came out at 31 riders before the end. And when Bradley Wiggins got to the first time check at half distance, he was posting a very fast time, 19 seconds faster than Rowan Dennis. But his uh, winning man there, uh, Fabio Sabatini, was caught and disposed of very rapidly. At 10 kilometers into the race, Bradley Wiggins was already on top. Yes, uh, Dennis had led there at 30 minutes and one second. Wiggins had gone round the corner, though, in 12 minutes and 42, and he was picking up the tailwind now, racing back and continuing also uh, to pick up his minute men as he ran towards the That was Guillaume Van Kiers, but he also passed. Coming into the home straight with an average speed of 32 miles an hour, full mile an hour quicker than Rowan Dennis. Bradley Wiggins uh, snatched the best time and put 23 minutes and 18 seconds on the leaderboard. Nobody was to beat the 24-minute barrier accepted. But one man would try, and it was Taylor Finney. He was leaving the start house just as Bradley Wiggins was finishing. A specialist in the individual time trial, a powerhouse. When he got to the term, though, the clock was indicating he was a long way down because he went through there with the third fastest time. The question was, could he pull it back on the running towards the line? Yes, and he couldn't make up the 32 seconds. He lost, in fact, he lost a further 20 seconds on the return journey with that tailwind, but he would still slot in on the podium in third place. The last man to go of the field was yesterday's winner in Sacramento, Mark Cavendish. But he's a sprinter, although he has won time trial before in his career. But today, it was to just race, conserve his strength for the road that lies ahead. Yes, well, for a sprinter, riding at almost 30 miles an hour was not a bad performance by the man who won the opening time trial, but this race gave us a brand new leader. Bradley Wiggins, or Sir Bradley Wiggins, as we should call him, is now the leader of the Amgen Tour of California. And tomorrow, with a mountain top finish, uh, Bradley Wiggins knows he's going to have his work cut out. But he'll keep looking at the overall and seeing just what sort of time gap he's made over the field with a superlative ride in the time trial today. The Olympic and now champion I'd like to on top is Folsom, ahead of Rowan Dennis and Taylor Finney. So there's confirmation of the overall situation now. Wiggins leads by 44 seconds over Rowan Dennis, 52 seconds over Taylor Finney. And the surprise of the day, Eloy Terriel, a new Spanish rider on the Jamie's Hagen's Berman team in fourth, and Jess Sargent in fifth. Top ten completed by the American national champion there. He's looking, though, for 1 minute 28 to take the jersey off Wiggins. The second day of the uh, ninth edition of the Amgen Tour of California it took the 128 riders away from Sacramento just up the road back to Folsom for the 32, uh, 20 kilometer or 12 mile time trial. Uh, now, Roseanne, a famous prison here, city. once uh, I guess made famous by Roseanne Johnny Cash the uh, in the Folsom itself yeah, and the race now. basing yeah. itself in the historic yeah. old town. A hot favorite for the time trial for Bradley Wiggins. Yes, Bradley Wiggins uh, was the man who was expected to win the time trial, but his challenge was going to come from uh, homegrown American Taylor Finney, fourth in the Olympic Games in the individual time trial in London, 
riding on home turf. A largely flat course out in beautiful warm conditions was suited to the fast men and Rowan Dennis third in the time trial in this event a year ago was setting the pace. By the time he reached the finishing line Rowan Dennis's time at 24 minutes and two seconds and average speed at just over 50 kilometers an hour had thrown down the gauntlet. He was out of the start house well ahead of everybody else on the day. He had to be in the hot seat for an awful long time start of Bradley Wiggins who came out at 31 riders before the end Wiggins got to the first time check at half he was posting a very fast time 19 seconds than Rowan Dennis wouldn't it man there Bettini was caught and destroyed very rapidly at 10 kilometers into the Bradley Wiggins was already up yeah so Dennis had left 15 minutes and one second Wiggins had gone corner though in 12 minutes and 42 and he was picking up the tailwind now back and continuing also uh, to pick up his minute men as he ran to as Guillaume Banquier as well so pass coming into the home straight speed of 32 miles an hour Five an hour quicker than Rowan Dennis he begins to uh, snatch the best time put 23 minutes and three seconds on the leaderboard was to beat the 24 barrier accepted but one man would try and it was Taylor Finney. He was leaving the start house just as Bradley Wiggins was. A specialist in the individual, a powerhouse. When he got to the term, though, the clock indicating he was a long way through there with the third fastest. Was could he pull it back on the running line? Yes, and he couldn't make up the 32 seconds. He lost the 20 seconds on the return that tailwind, but he would still sit in on the podium in. The last man to go up the field it was yesterday's winner, Mark Cavendish. Although he has won time trials in his career, but today, just race can serve for the road that lies ahead. Yes, well, for a sprinter, riding at almost 30 miles an hour was not a bad performance. And who won the opening time trial, but the race gave us a brand new Randy Wiggins, or Sir Bradley, is now the leader of Tour of California. And tomorrow with a mountain top finish, uh, Brad knows he's going to have his work cut out. But he'll keep looking at the ball and seeing just what sort of time gap the field to the In the time trial today, the Olympic champion.